you'll learn about the gear that you need to pack, your camera, lenses, microphone, and tripod. Your main camera is gonna be the camera that you're gonna do all your vlogging to and getting all those nice artistic shots of your travel video. There are so many different vlogging cameras on the market today, it really depends what you're looking for. For me, I need something that's super small and lightweight, so that's why I have the Sony A6300. It's a really great camera, it shoots in 4K and about five times slow motion, and that's really important to get if you're planning to do travel videos. It just makes your videos that much more cinematic and professional. One really great thing about this camera for vloggers is it has incredible autofocus. It's honestly the best on the market today, so if you're looking for a really good autofocusing camera, this is your camera. If you're planning to shoot a lot of handheld with this camera, I would consider bringing your resolution down to about 1080. Unfortunately, one downside to this camera is when you're shooting at 4K, the rolling shutter is quite noticeable. It turns your shots into jello and it's not the nicest thing to look at. But the 4K in this camera is stunning and I love to use it for landscapes and shots that don't have a lot of movement in it. So for the price of this camera, you're getting really good quality. Having different lenses will help you get a variety of different shots. So for example, on the camera right now, I have a 10 to 18 millimeter lens, which is a wide angle. So that's really good for when I'm vlogging or talking to the camera or just getting wide landscape shots. But I also have a telephoto 16 to 70 millimeter lens, which helps me get close ups. So the higher the number, the closer that you get. I also have another lens, which is a 50 millimeter 1.8 prime lens. And that is a really good lens because it helps me shoot in low light. So the lower the aperture, the better it does in low light situations. I would really like to have another long lens with me, but if I could only bring one lens with me, I would bring my 10 to 18 millimeter. It's really wide and I know that I'm in frame when I'm vlogging and it's also really good for landscapes. It's a really good shot. And if I really want to get a close up, I can just move closer to the object. What do good visuals mean if there's no good audio to back it up? Nowadays, most cameras really don't have a good mic built into them, so it's really wise to invest in an external mic. I am using the VideoMic Go from Rode. Uh, it's a middle of the line microphone, but for the price, it is a great microphone and it does everything that I need. It works really well in wind and also inside. If you're filming inside, this is all you need. But if you're filming outside, this will get rid of the sound of all your wind. If you're wanting to incorporate time lapses or include smooth pans and tilts in your travel video, a tripod is what you need. And this is probably gonna be the heaviest and biggest thing that you're gonna include in your pack. So if you do not need to bring one of these, I would recommend not bringing it. You can opt out for getting something a little bit smaller like a gorilla pod. This is really adaptable and versatile, but it just doesn't give you those nice smooth pans and tilts that you get with one of these tripods. If you do decide that you wanna bring along a tripod, it might be wise to build your own tripod. So this is actually two different tripods that I put together. First, I used a really nice Manfrotto fluid head, which is really great for those smooth pans and tilts. And I put that on top of another set of carbon fiber tripod legs. And by doing that, I saved about half the weight. So that's, that's a really smart thing to do. Saving weight is good. Find out what else you need to pack by watching the rest of the series on filmora.io.